Hey, what's going on, guys? Hutch here with the next Kronos Rising War Recap. This is actually the second piece uh, of the recap to this clan, uh, war clan against uh, this random Asian clan that we faced. Um, tough loss uh, by a couple percentage. These guys were uh, definitely a mod clan. Um, you know, they got a 10 all 11 triple on us, like I mentioned in the first video. And uh, just the attacks they were doing in the scouts and stuff, it, you know, definitely a mod clan. So great war against everybody in Kronos. We, we killed it, cleared all the 9s and 10s, no dips um, on the 9s anyway. And uh, two star all the 11s, so there's not really much more you can ask, uh, you know, out of that type of war. So let's, let's get into it here. We're going to start off at number 16, and that's Wanted Alex. He's going to go with the Queen Walk Govaho. He starts his queen walk from the bottom of the map there. Sends in a hog to try to lure the CC, but he ends up popping the Tesla farm and actually getting part of part of the CC. So that's that's a good uh, good value there from that hog, I guess. Deals with the CC no problem. Can actually be more of a queen charge. It looks like. Well, he failed to charge in there with those wall breakers. Let's see. He sends sends another one that gets him in. There you go. So he's going to actually charge in here. Um, he's going to have to deal with another piece of the CC here. As soon as she takes this expo out and steps up, he starts a golem in from the three o'clock spot uh, with some wizards to funnel. <clears throat> gets the last Tesla out of the way. So that's awesome to get that Tesla farm um, out of the way right away. He's got uh, his king going down and some Valks, um, some max Valks out of the CC. Sends in a hog there as well to, I guess, help take out some defenses while they're distracted, but it ends up just dying anyway. Um, the queen takes out the enemy queen. Um, his queen's about to go down. Down she goes, but 40% uh, of this base is already wrecked. He's got a jump and a heal down for these Valks going through the core now. They're going to take out that expo. Those healers come over to help the Valks out a little bit. Uh, double bomb pops. Some some hogs are coming in from the uh, 5 o'clock spot. Take out some left uh, leftover defenses over there. Uh, king, enemy king is about to go down from his king. Uh, healers are over there healing that golem, which is pretty clutchy. There's a couple hogs down. They hit a skelly trap, which kind of stinks, but they're going to take out that mortar first. He's got some more hogs coming on the left-hand side, and uh, this base is wrecked. He's got two defenses left. He's got some hogs in the bag. From here on out, it's just clean up. Uh, I was a little worried about time, but um, you know he's able to get this three-star. I'm gonna fast-forward this to try to keep this video nice and short for you guys. But a uh, nice attack here by Alex. Last couple things go down here. Nice attack. Let's see, our next attack is on 18 by DJ. We've got some <clears throat> some air attacks in this recap. It's gonna be pretty cool. So he drops a baby dragon to funnel that left side and some wizards to help with the golem, the golem distracting. Um, it's gonna get tremendous value out of that baby dragon. There's a lot of uh, trash buildings over there that are gonna help with cleanup. He uh, almost gets a little bit of a wall breaker fail, but he uh, luckily saved one, pops through. A uh, little mini Tesla farm there. Uh, CC comes out, some dragons. Uh, queen is dealt with. Um, and if you notice in, in the last video and, and some of this video that you're not seeing a lot of enemy CCs come out. Um, I didn't even mention that, but this was... Oh no, this wasn't the war, excuse me, sorry. Um, that's that's where we're currently in. I had to re-record both videos because um, somehow they uploaded without my sound the first time, so it was basically just watching a video with no sound, so it was awkward. So I'm getting my wars confused. Um, but anyway, I was a little con a little concerned because he only got the one AD. I think he's going for two. So um, what he does here, uh, you know, he just thinks on the fly. He starts the pathing out. It was great. Look at those loons split because they're going to go to two different defense defenses. Then one pack's going to go to the AD. The other one's going to keep on going through defenses so that the the pathing on this was beautiful by DJ um, they send the rest of the uh, hounds in here he just again the pathing was just incredible here he still got he, he swagged out a jump forgot to use a jump 
Um, he only got one AD. So I, I was a little worried for this attack when I was watching it live. But um, last AD is getting crushed right now by about 15 balloons. And this base is trash. He's got a balloon in hand. He's got some cleanup troops that are starting to go down now. He's got one max hot hound alive, another non max hound alive, um, which also hurts as well. You want those hounds to pop. But uh, he swags out that jump on the CC. Awesome attack by DJ. I'll fast forward through the rest of this the trash buildings here. <clears throat> well done. Okay, next attack is actually on 19 by Muzza. And we got another air attack here. Um, this is a Penta. He's just got a, uh, he's got four Valks to help uh, with his kill squad and one jump. So he just puts that jump right down. He, uh, he notices he gets a free funnel with the Wizards, which is awesome and uh, just terrible base design, but he gets a free funnel. So he's able to send that King, four Valks, uh, the queen and and some wizards right down that uh, right down that jump. They're gonna take out the queen. They're gonna take out the CC, and they uh, they got an air defense as well. So awesome value out of that kill squad. They're gonna keep on going. They're gonna break through some walls here and take out some more defenses. But that was really all he needed them to do. So he starts his laloon. He gets three hounds going to that first air defense, which is actually awesome because a lot of times when when you do air attacks. And you send two two hounds, you end up having to send that third. And he sees there's a very dense area of, of point defenses too in that area. He's got there's like four or five archer towers, a wizard tower over there. So, um, you know, with that with the bombs and everything, he knew he had to send in some meat. And the second one pops just as he gets to the second AD. But now he's got the full max hound taking a beating, and he's got a secondary hound in there as well. They're going to go over to the last AD. Pathing is perfect. All the defenses are basically going down right behind the the, the hounds. Um, he does have to deal with the Tesla farm, which kind of hurts him because uh, some of the Tesla Teslas weren't attacking his uh, hounds, so a lot of his back end loons went down. But it doesn't matter because the queen just rounded the corner over there because she didn't go into the base naturally because that's what she does. Um, and the last defense goes down. He's got pups all over the place. The queens to clean up. He got balloons cleaning up. Minion in hand. So this base is crushed. Awesome type of muzza. Our 35 coming all the way up to 19 to, to crush him uh, with 15, 19 heroes. So awesome job there. As we fast forward to the end of that there. All right, so our next attack is on 22 by Fab Savage, a.k.a. Mike. This was a, uh, a 9.5, just really like lower on the map weight-wise. Um, He's got some like two lower ADs. I'm not even sure how he, he's 22 on the map um, under Fab, who is just a straight up Town Hall nine at uh, at 17. But either way, he comes in and uh, he crushes this this 9.5, which is awesome because it's a little tougher for a nine to to beat a 9.5. Uh, 9.5, uh, you know, have the max offense most of the time. They have extra uh, extra bombs and traps and whatnot. So. He uh, starts from the 6 o'clock spot with Queen Charge. Awesome Charge. He's going to get the King. He got the CC uh, taken care of. And he's going to get... Um, well, now he's going to get the CC taken care of. And he's, he's going to get 2 AD as well. So awesome value. He also started funneling it um, up towards the uh, 11 o'clock spot. Because he's going to be doing uh, some sort of Suicide King type scenario. Um, the queen is still doing work. He's got a baby dragon now to help funnel. Down goes his king. Um, down go four wall breakers. They're going to bust in. He's going to have that queen uh, is in that compartment, which is very clutch for him that she didn't jump back over. She's she's interested now. He sees that the queen's locked on, so he starts dropping his lot loon portion. Uh, king's getting hit by the queen. The baby dragon comes over to start rocking her, pops the king's ability. And that's that for the queen. Great job, uh, great value there, great suicide king. Um, so he's got two hounds going down on that first lower level AD. That thing goes down right as a hound pops, which is great for cleanup. Um, he's got the only other AD is on across the other side of the map, so he's basically got a split La Loon here. Um, and that hound goes all the way across that map, soaks up all that, all those bombs and all those defenses, which is great too. Uh, he's got a back end rage for this pack of balloons and that max hound. 
Max Hound is just a sliver of life. Not sure it's going to die here, which would have been clutch. Let's see what happens when it goes over. Uh, yep, it stays. Looks like it's going to stay alive. The last defense goes down, and this base is crushed. Awesome job by Mike with that. Like I said, Mike's one of our Town Hall 11s as well. Nice attack. Next attack is 23, Sid. Sid the man, crushing it right now. He's, he's just he's killing it. He's used nothing but air attacks, and uh, he's got three three six packs in the last four wars. And I think he, he only missed the six pack the fourth war by like 8%. I think it was like a 92% two star. So either way, he throws down a, uh, a golem with some wizards to funnel, another golem uh, with some more wizards and, and some funneling uh, minions as well. Looks like he's got access to two ADs and the AQ compartment and the CC and both sweepers with one jump. Um, again, that was that was a tough part about this war. Uh, they had poor base designs. We absolutely wrecked their nine, their nines and tens. A little bit of trouble we had with their elevens, um, but still, like I said, it was you know mod clan. It's uh, weekday war kind of hurts a little bit. Um, you know we weren't really sure what to expect when we matched them. Weren't sure if it was going to be a farm war, what the case was. They actually were on a 16 or 17 win streak in it, though, coming into it. But it makes sense because they're a mod clan. Um, I think we still should have won, but great job against everybody. But 30% um, of this base is taken out, including both sweepers, two ADs, the CC, and the queen. So here comes the La Loon. He's got um, his hound and the max hound going in. His, uh, his hound's going to about to pop. There it goes. Um, Max Hound taking a beating. He sends in the last of his hounds. Some more back end balloons here. Balloons are going to rage through that last AD. Uh, Queen is over there now to help with that Tesla farm that just popped up. Uh, he's got another another haste in hand. Pack of balloons coming together. They get the um, Wizard Tower out of the way. He's only got a Wizard Tower and an Archer Tower now left as far as air targeting defenses. He's got pups all over the place. And he's got a haste in the bag. I don't know if he even uses it here. Let's see. Yes, he does, just to push those last things through, get that out of the way. Almost loses all those uh, loons, which actually would have cost him the raid, because <laughs> they, they help with the cleanup here in the back end with all these high HP storages dropping bombs on them. So thank God that wizard tower didn't splash them down, because that would have been a fail uh, otherwise. But great attack by Sid. Sid Sid's killing it right now with all these six packs. Um, you know, just wrecking it with, uh, with air right now, so great attack. Uh, the next attack is on number 30. That is Ganicus on number 30. And he goes with the uh, Golem out of the CC. He's going with a straight up Govaho. He's got some minions to funnel one side, a baby dragon to funnel the other. And he's got the Golem going down. He's going to send some wall breakers here shortly after the funnel's created. There's a test wall breaker. Trips a bomb. The rest of the wall breakers go in. And uh, if he wanted to air attack this base, he actually would have access to 3 AD with one jump and the CC and probably the Queen would go down as well but he chooses to go with the uh, the Govaho which is also going to work so the CC comes out he drops both poisons he's got to get let these um, he's actually going to let these Valks shred through these walls because he's got um, lower level walls in the inner compartments which is the opposite of what you want uh, because when you have lower level walls on the inside Val uh, troops like a Valk are going to rape through them but um, that's good for us so he drops another heal to keep these Valks going here because they had a little trouble with that dragon. Uh, Queen's going to go down to the Valks and his king. Some hogs are starting in um, from both sides of the map here. He's got a heal in, in hand for those hogs still. He already tripped one giant bomb, a uh, double giant bomb spot. Um, the second one is it looks like a single there. So there's one more single left, it looks like, on the map still. I'm assuming it's going to be... Oh, no, maybe he did trip it. Yes, he did trip it already, I guess. Um, or he just avoided it altogether. But um, that's it. This base is crushed. Great attack by Ganicus. Clean up the last couple of pieces here. Well done. All right, and the last attack is... Deckard on number 33. This was a really cool attack. Um, starts a minion from that right hand, a couple minions on the right hand side, and he knows that they're going to come to sweep over to the left and start creating a funnel for him. So he drops a queen and four healers um, 
I'm sorry, three healers. And he drops bowl, max bowlers at a CC and then drops another three healers on them. So he does a queen mini queen walk with the three healers and a bowler walk on the other side. Um, throws down a bunch of Valks. They're going to shred through the walls with some wall breakers. CC comes out. Again, it's uh, the wall breakers actually make it to the second layer, which is super clutch for him. But the, the Valks are going to break through those walls regardless because they're skulls and um, you know they're not very highly upgraded walls because this is a lo the lower end of the map. But um, he throws a rage down, some giant bombs in there, give the fit, give fits to the uh, Valks. But he gets a heal going down to keep them going. They shred right through that wall in two seconds. Um, he's got wizards cleaning up at the top. The bowlers are still in, in the core with the queen and some healers. They, they take out the last AD. Um, so basically, these bowlers are just wrecking house. They're taking out they're taking out Teslas from long distance. Um, this base is just absolutely crushed. He's got a, both both abilities and both uh, both heroes are full life. Valks in the corner, bowlers all over the place. Two two wizards on hand in hand still. Um, that's just crushed. So great attack there by Deckard, who also that's as many he has a 10 all 11 as well. Um, but that's it, guys. A tough loss for Kronos. Um, first loss since the merger. Like I said, to some uh, some Asian mod clan here. We still almost beat them. Um, great word, everybody. Don't forget to sub sub subscribe, guys, and check out the uh, the video prior if you missed it. That is the Town Hall 10 uh, 11 portion of this war recap. Thanks for stopping by. Take care.